Well, feeding families is constantly a big topic of conversation and every part of our state has a designated local food region that helps the community know where our food is coming from and how to best produce it for families. In this evening's KX Conversation, we're talking with Laura Weber, who works for the Regional Food Business Center's Roosevelt Custer's Regional Council. Laura, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Joe. So for anyone who isn't familiar with the agency, can you tell us a little bit about what you specialize in? So um, this particular effort is um, based with the USDA. Um, it is the USDA Regional Food Business Centers, and they were established to drive economic opportunities across the region um, and creating a more diverse and resilient food system. So the emphasis right now, what can you tell us about what's happening this week in Dickinson? Sure, yes. So this week in Dickinson, we're doing our community input meeting. Um, I think it's very important and, and a key part of building any system is to involve those with the boots on the ground, right, doing the work day in and day out. Um, we are new to the food systems kind of ecosystem, and so we need to take a minute to sit back and listen um, to our local producers our, uh anybody that's adding capacity or working within the local food systems. Um, to kind of see where the needs are lying. And so really that's what the meetings are for, um, so that we can hear from, from the people in, in the businesses on what they need and how we can best assist and create a sustainable and stable food system. So it sounds like you're coming at this with kind of an open ear, just wanted to invite some of the people to the table for conversation and everything, but what are you really hoping to get out of this? What's the overarching goal when you look to plan for the future as far as making sure everybody has a, a full belly out in Dickinson? Sure, so this is, it is definitely starting with an open ear um, and understanding where we can build capacity within the value chain of the local food systems. Um, and so through that, um, but these meeting notes, these facilitated conversations that we will be having over the next week or so uh, will be put into an action plan that's actually a five year action plan um, that will be present here in the region um, to help us build that capacity. Um, and so that's just kind of the overarching idea of what we're doing. In addition to that, um, through the USDA Regional Food Business Centers, there is going to be some funding available for um, businesses and organizations that are in the local food systems, um, looking to build their capacity and create expansion. Um, and those awards kind of will be launching early this next year um, and that that will be available on an annual basis. Um, in addition to the funding, um, we're also hoping to be able to provide some one-on-one -on -one, uh, advising in order to kind of help these unique niche businesses uh, create success and, and continue to um, feed, feed the region locally. And are these meetings open to the public and how can people take advantage? Absolutely. We um, completely open meetings. So even if you're not necessarily a link in the chain, um, but you're a consumer or you're very interested in the local food systems, we'd love to hear from you as well. Um, the meeting is tomorrow, November 28th at 5 p.m. We are meeting at the Farm Credit Services meeting room, and that's at 1300 Rough Rider Boulevard in Dickinson. Uh, we do ask that we have you pre-register, uh, and those the registration is available on Eventbrite um, website. If you just search local foods, the Dickinson event will be um, findable, um, and you can register there and, and then um, come and partake in, in the facilitated discussion. My guest once again is Laura Weber from Mountain Dickinson talking about the future of food security. Laura, thanks so much and best of luck uh, this week. Thank you so much. We look forward to uh, being able to tell the public what's going on and, and how we can help.